Okay, it's Black Cap Chef and we're going to do fried eggs. We're going to do the straight up sunny side and uh, what some would call over easy. And then we'll turn that into a lovely uh, egg and bacon sandwich. So down to the pan. Okay, looking good. So, non-stick frying pan. You want some oil, okay? Any oil you like. Sunflower, vegetable is absolutely fine. You don't really need to put that much oil in. So there's not too much in there. And then we take our egg, we crack along the top. If you want to check out how to open the egg without cracking it, check out the video. Take off the top, pour the egg in. Now I'm actually going to do two because I'm going to show you the over easy method as well. So crack around the top, take off the top, Pull that egg in. Now these two have merged a little bit, but that's okay. I like to put a little bit of salt and pepper, just a little grind of each on the top. There we go. Nice little bit of flavour. And I've got myself a little spatula here. I'm going to separate these two babies. This, okay, if you don't want them both together, once that white is finished, it'll be good. We'll move it across a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we have the white, and we have the yolk, and we're cooking away. We turn the heat up, you want it on pretty high. Um, what we're looking for here is all of the white is gone. That's fine with it over easy because you're going to flip it over anyway. And we want a nice crispy bottom to the egg. One thing I can't stand is when you have the um, perhaps a breakfast buffet in a hotel and they, the eggs are cooked swimming in fat and oil and they come out and it's just not pleasant. So what we're looking for is a good high heat. The high heat will crisp the bottom of the yolk, which is what we want to see. Okay? Not sticking, as you can see. A little bit of oil around the sides here. I'm going to add a little bit more oil in there because I want some to be able to just baste the egg with. It didn't take very long. We're about a minute in, and you can already see the crispy edges. So I'm going to make this one here the sunny side up. So sunny side because there it is, lovely sun with the yolk. And what I want is this yolk here, so this, uh, this white, not to be translucent. So a little bit of a teaspoon, of basting it, you see it starts to bubble, which is perfect. Bubbling away, there you go. If you want to, you can put it all over, in which case you get a, like a pink finish to it. See this bit's pink. And this looks yellow. That's pretty much done. And if I tip it like this, you'll see the bottom has got that lovely crispiness to it. Now, an over easy egg, it's basically the same as this one. But instead of the yolk, you actually flip it at the last second. You don't flip it for very long. So you don't want to cook the yolk. But we just flip it over. Oops. Let's try that again. Didn't work first time, not a problem. Take that off, flip it over, Oop, third time, there we go, and she's done, only takes a few seconds and that will be cooked. So, prepare our little sandwich, then we come, the bread I prepared earlier, streaky bacon, if you want to check out how to do that, it's very easy, just check out the video, and here we go. Opposite ends because of the bacon shape, so you fill it up nicely. Then we take our over easy egg, you can see the bottom there, the yolk there, pop it in. And then we take our other egg, sunny side up, drop that one in as well. So we have a double egg and bacon sandwich. We pop that on top, give it a little squeeze down, take the knife and chop through 
lovely oozy egg. And here we have perfect egg and bacon sandwich sorted.